You can switch it. They're acting nervous, but don't let them flee that they don't like the big stage. <laughs> Quick Cal note for you. Um, uh, excuse me, Jennifer Brandon broke the single season rebounding record today. <laughs> Golf clap. Okay. Anyway, uh, we have Coach Lindsey Gottlieb, Jennifer Brandon, and Brittany Boyd. Coach, I'll let you open. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for, for being here. Your, your coverage is really important to us. The first thing I'd like to do is, is credit a Washington State team that um, not only uh, gave us an absolute battle today, but has had a terrific run in the tournament. Um, June Doherty is um, one of the people in coaching that has reached out to me personally and been a mentor, but also just does so many good things for the women's game. And I, I think that group of seniors that went to Washington State, maybe before that was something that you were supposed to do is pretty impressive. And Jasmine Perkins is a Berkeley kid and April Cook. And I just really commend them on finishing their careers. Um, and I think their, their <coughs> impact that they're going to have on that program is really lasting. So I um, uh, just wanted to say that first. Very excited to be uh, coaching our group tomorrow in the championship game. Um, I thought we responded really well coming out of the halftime. You know, I asked them to get a little tougher uh, or a lot tougher on the defensive end and to be more patient at the same time on the offensive end. And I thought shooting 58% in the second half and, you know, getting some critical stops, they, they really did that. Um, we're really good when we're playing with a lot of energy. Um, and I thought in a very short prep for Washington State, we were able to take away some of their looks um, and, and our big, you know, players made plays. Brittany and Jen in particular um, really like space. They like to make plays in space and they, they found those gaps. And when I see, you know, a look in both of their eyes, um, sometimes it's a toughness look. And sometimes it's a smile, but when I know that they're right there locked in, um, we're tough to beat. So just I thought it was a really good team effort today, second day, day in a row. We had four people in double figures and just excited to be representing the University of California in the championship game tomorrow. Thank you. Questions? Jeff? Here. <clears throat> Jeff Rotter with the Oakland Tribune. Lindsay, can you talk about the matchup with Stanford? You played them twice a year, and you, you took them to overtime once, and they got you pretty good the other time. What do you have to do? to be in that game or to win that game tomorrow? I don't get to enjoy it for 30 seconds before we talk about Stanford. <laughs> um, they're, they're so good. Uh, you know, they're really a terrific basketball team. And I thought um, at their place, I thought we were able to kind of control the tempo and maybe at times get them back on their heels and be the aggressors. At our place, they came out and shot the ball so well. And when you have the both best you know, post players in the country and then you're going to knock down shots, it gave them some separation that kind of put us in desperation mode a little bit. So hopefully we can come out, uh, get some stops early, and be able to control the tempo of the game a little bit better. Um, you know, I, I certainly have some good film to look at from a week ago. Um, and, and we will be better. Um, I, I just I think they're a terrific team, but I think our players are real competitors, and we're going to make some adjustments and, and hopefully come out um, and, and do a lot of things um, better tomorrow. Back. Uh, John Crumpacker for the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Lindsay, what did your um, rebounding differential uh, equate to in this game, and, 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 was, and did that um, margin en enable you to uh, – cancel out the 25 turnovers, which <coughs> did the rebounding uh, advantage please you as much as the turnovers displease you? I think it's, it's a real luxury as a coach um, to be able to look at them in March and say, the rebounding thing is part of our identity, that people aren't going to be able to game plan for that, uh, that when you come into a, a win or go home game and say, do what we do on the boards, um, that's a real factor for us. Obviously, making a lot of shots on our end and holding them to a low percentage is going to help that differential. I mean, they only had 17 defensive rebounds. Partly that's because we shot a high percentage, but partly because you know we're getting 17 offensive rebounds, giving ourselves second chances. That's become just part of what we do. And I think if you break down and analyze our team, it's one of the reasons that we win a lot of games. I don't think any of us, especially not Brittany over there, is happy about the 25 turnovers. But I think you can handle something like that when we're able to limit them to one shot and get multiple attempts on the other end. Hi, Coach. How you doing? LT Rose at TT Sports. Talia, for some reason, it seemed like um, Washington was making a run, and all of a sudden, you start going to her. I think she scored like maybe three, three baskets in a row. Tell me about that. 
Yeah, Talia, um, we, we just really trust our entire post group. Uh, when, you, when you can bring in four different people, sometimes they match up differently. Uh, sometimes you, know, you can put them in different situations. But we made a concerted effort in the second half to get the ball inside. And Talia did a great job of, I think, keeping them on her high side. Uh, Brittany found her a couple times on those lob plays, and, and she finished. And it's not something that we don't expect, and that's a good, that's a good feeling. Um, but she really finished, and I thought Rashonda came in uh, and made some critical ones as, as well. But we want to go inside. Obviously, Washington State's defense tries to extend you, and you can do that off the bounce, you know, and Brittany and Blaise and Eliza kind of picking them apart that way, or you can just do it straight off of post-entry passes. And we just look to, to do that in a concerted effort kind of way coming out of the locker room at halftime. <coughs> Um, Coach, you more than doubled them in rebounds, and then there was the turnovers, and then they um, doubled you in steals. You know, a lot of that's emotion. Uh, a lot of that can be fixed emotionally. Is do you have one or two emotional leaders, or was there and was there one today? If you didn't have one, and then what is that single single season reboard, rebounding record that Jennifer just broke? The, what are the numbers? <coughs> Uh, Ashley Walker had 317 a couple years back, and Jen got 319. Um, and just to speak to that for a minute, Ashley, I, I still talk to Ashley all the time. She's one of my favorite people and players of all time. But she probably played about 38 minutes a game that year. Um, and I think it speaks to the, the depth of our team that our players just want to win games. And, you know, if Jen plays 25 minutes, she's going to try and be as productive as she can in those minutes. And she's just an absolute monster on the glass. And when she wants to do that, there's I don't know if there's anyone who can, can keep her uh, away from doing that. So I think it's a pretty remarkable stat, especially given the, the depth that we have and that everybody's willingness to play whatever role we ask them to play. Um, the emotional leader thing. Uh, I think we have a really neat balance on our team of youthful energy, swagger, sometimes not knowing exactly what's supposed to happen next in, in a good way, and veteran calmer players. Um, and, and so I think at different times we need different things. No one on our team wants to turn the ball over. They're, they're really competitive. And Washington State, I mean, that's their defense. They, they, do, they do that. So I think that it was really a collective thing um, you know, that we decided we had to be a little more patient on offense. We had to be a little tougher and not turn the ball over anymore. And, and obviously, Brit Brittany kickstarts that with, with us. This is the type of game where we need the ball in her hands because of her decision-making ability. Um, and then other people play different defenses. And we want Lasia kind of because she's a steady sort of um, presence as well. So we feel like we have multiple multiple people with the ball in their hands that we feel very confident with. Yes, uh, John Crumpack of San Francisco Chronicle for uh, Jennifer. Uh, what makes a good rebounder and, and why do you excel uh, so much <laughs> in that aspect of, of your game? Um, <clears throat> I, I would say the main thing that makes a good rebounder is a uh, person's determination uh, to want the ball for their teams. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Just determination. <clears throat> to go get the ball. I mean, you like some people are good like with just jumping uh, and snatching it, and some people use like techniques like boxing out. So uh, it's determination and hard work to go after the ball in any way you can. Laura Boyko with Pac-12 for the players. Can you talk a little bit more about the Washington State team that you faced today? They came in after you know making an incredible run this weekend. Did you? see that they had more confidence than when you played with them during the season, or were they the same team? Um, you want to you go? Yeah, um, I think um, they were kind of more of the same team. Um, but as the tournament, as they got to the tournament, I feel like their confidence um, uh, went up a little um, because they were winning teams. And you know, and their energy level, like I have to re like really respect their energy level and how they came out at halftime and the before the game. So I just think that their confidence was was really high. Cool. Yeah, uh, piggybacking off of what you <laughs> said. Um, I don't um, like Pac-12. Uh, the um, tournament. I don't think like any team would be the same team. Like because they're more determined and they know they only get one chance. And you know if they don't get it, then they're knocked out. So all every team comes in with this fiery determination to want to win something. Um, I guess bigger than the Pac-12 conference, regular season conference, so, yeah. Um, this is for the coach and the players. Uh, my name is Lee Michelson, I'm with fullcourt.com. Um, there were great expectations for um, your junior and senior class, one of the top recruiting classes in the um, country. 
And to some degree, they underperformed expectations for a couple of years. Not that they did badly, but just not as well as they could. Now you've gone through a coaching change. You're here as the first year as the head coach of this program. Lost one of your key players, and you've brought them to a whole new level in terms of uh, performance being here in the finals. Can you talk about what, if you were to point to two or three things that were that dynamic that uh, caused this team to gel and perform at this level? Yeah. Um, when I was hired in, in the spring, uh, I met with each of them individually, uh, not really talking about skill sets or X's and O's, just to, just to spend time with them. And almost to a person in their different ways with different personalities, they said, we want to cheer for each other. We want to be great. We want to do things that special teams do. And I knew right then that my job was just to take an incredibly talented and passionate group of individuals and hopefully get them to where uh, they want to be as, as a collective unit. Um, and we did work on that. You know, in the, in the fall, we spent a lot of time on what we call kind of our core foundation, who we are, what we do, how we, how we go about doing it, so that when January and February came, we could say, and, and let's say we lost the game, we need to play better transition defense, or we need to set better screens, not who are we and what are we about. And they have bought into that. Um, they love each other. They love being around each other. They have great energy. They play really hard. And I think sometimes that kind of thing um, maybe transcends just a group of talented players. In addition to that, and, and uh, I was very aware of how they did you know, in the past, we have more depth this year. We have a, a true point guard. Um, you know, Eliza and Leja were playing a lot on the ball last year. Now I can move them off the ball, so just from a, a technical standpoint. And Jen Brandon didn't play last year, and there weren't, wasn't a four-post rotation. So from a tactical s spot, I, I really like our pieces. And then from kind of an emotional spot, this team was ready to, to gel and just be better than what they might be able to show with accolades from high school. The Win Bear Insider, this is for Brittany. Um, yes. Jen had her you know, stat uh, you know, record, but you also were one assist away from a triple double. So oh, nice. you know, across the line there, like which of those categories were you most proud of for this game? Um, I would have to say my assist, um, because you know I just I like feeding the ball to the post and the wings, but um, the ratio right now, the nine to eight, is not really <laughs> what I'm happy about. But I would have to say my assist overall. So yeah. And we're going to look through that film and find the one assist that should have been, and, and we'll let Brittany duke it out with that one person. Sorry. That was me. Jeff Rada with the Oakland Tribune. For Brittany and for Jennifer, can you talk about what you guys feel like you need to do better than you, the last time you played Stanford to, uh, to get over the hump against them? Yeah, um, I just think it's just focusing in and going, um, doing the coach's game plan and, and following and trusting in their game plan and just playing hard. Like, it's the championship, and I believe that we're going to bring it and Stanford's going to bring it. So just playing hard and, yeah, just going with the game plan and focusing in. Yeah, um, I would say uh, we need to um, stay together and work hard, like Brittany was saying, and uh, – follow the scouting report that the coaches give us because they're obviously intelligent and they wouldn't have the job if they were. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so just, you know, stay together and work hard for common good. Do you have confidence that you can beat them? Heck yeah. 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 <laughs> Any team's beatable. Uh, I don't know about the Lakers, but. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah uh, John Crumpacker, the San Francisco Chronicle for uh, Jennifer. Can you explain what and why you make your little alterations to your uniform? What what that means? <laughs> oh, or, 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 um, the shoulder and the, the, the tag. Oh, it's a fashion statement. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I do it for, uh, just to be comfortable, and you know my uniform. Um, yeah, I I don't know. It's just for to be comfortable. I roll my shorts because I don't like them to touch my knees. Um, I roll my. I just don't like to feel clothes, uh, if that doesn't sound weird, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to fold it tight as I can to feel like I'm running with the wind. Yeah. With the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other follow-ups? <laughs> <laughs> Lee Michaels from court.com. Uh, your coach talked about uh, one of the first things you did was finding your identity. Uh, I'd like to ask the players, 
who is or are Cal Basketball? Nice. Who is? Yeah. We are. <laughs> like some characteristics, maybe. Oh, um, confident. I would say we're a very confident team. Um, relentless. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's a lot to describe us. It's hard to just choose like one word or a couple words. It's like a, a lot of things to describe us because we all bring in different things and we all share different personalities. So I, I, it's a lot. Yeah. But it's all positive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, I would say uh, relentlessness like Brittany. Um, just staying as a family, uh, working together. Um, Never back down or give up. Um, that's about it, yeah. Anything further? <laughs> I think that'll do it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was a good question.